If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Let's, Let's go. go! Hello, space fans! Today we're going to create a DIY wooden solar system model. We're going to paint and explore the set and then learn facts all about the sun and the eight planets. So we have all the planets and the sun from a set However, you could make them yourself and stick it to a lollipop stick. So first we have the Sun, then we have Mercury, next is Venus. The next planet we will paint is our home planet Earth. The next planet we will paint is Mars. Next we have Jupiter, which is this big planet. The next planet we have is Saturn with its ring. This set also comes with Uranus with its ring. However, it should be upside down. And lastly, we have a Neptune model. So now we're going to go ahead and paint them all and learn facts about each planet. So the first thing we're going to paint is the sun. There are billions of suns or stars scattered across the Milky Way galaxy and our sun is our primary energy source, which manifests itself with light and huge amounts of heat. It exerts a massive gravitational pull on the planets, making them spin around the sun. The sun and the entire solar system rotates around the center of the Milky Way. The sun has a diameter of 864,000 miles and could fit over a million Earths inside of it. It also has a rotation or day length of roughly a month. On the surface of the sun, temperatures can reach roughly 5,000 degrees and towards the core, temperatures average more than 15 million degrees. And that's our finished sun. So now we're going to paint our first planet, which is Mercury. Mercury is the first planet and the smallest planet of our solar system. The temperature on Mercury's surface can range dramatically from a scorching 430 Celsius during the day to a freezing minus 100 Celsius at night time due to its lack of atmosphere to retain heat. Mercury takes 88 days to orbit the Sun as it is the closest and Mercury has a slow rotation one day on Mercury is 59 Earth days. Mercury has no moons, probably due to it being so close to the Sun, the Sun's gravitational pull would probably eliminate any moon candidates. And here is our finished Mercury. So next we're going to go ahead and paint Venus. Venus is the second planet in our solar system. And Venus is the hottest planet in our entire solar system. It has an average temperature of 464 Celsius. This is primarily due to its dense carbon dioxide rich atmosphere and a strong greenhouse effect. A year on Venus is roughly 225 days, as it's the second planet to orbit our sun. However, a day on Venus is 243 Earth days. Its rotation or day is longer than its year. It also spins backwards on its axis, opposite to Earth's rotational spin. However, it is the closest planet to Earth in distance and size. Venus has no moons, but it is believed to possibly have had a moon millions of years ago, but it is believed to have crashed into it. And there is our finished Venus. The next planet we're going to paint is our home planet Earth. It is the third planet from the Sun and the planet we all call home. It is the only planet we know that has organic life on it, as it sits in a perfect location in space that allows life to grow. And we have called this the Goldilocks Zone. 71% of our home planet is covered by water, whilst the other 29% is land. The average global temperature on Earth is 15 Celsius. 
However, the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth was minus 89.2 Celsius in Antarctica. And the hottest recorded temperature was 56.7 Celsius in California, in the United States of America. It takes the Earth 365 days to orbit our Sun, which we call one year. And one day on Earth is 24 hours. Earth has one official moon, and it's Earth's sole natural satellite and nearest large celestial body. And here is our finished Earth. So the next planet we're painting is Mars. Mars is the fourth planet in our solar system, and it's the last of the terrestrial planets, which means it's the last of the planets in our solar system that has a solid surface that you could walk on. It also has roughly the third of Earth's gravity, meaning you could jump much higher and longer on Mars. Mars also houses the largest mountain in our entire solar system, called Olympus Mons. Mars has a temperature that varies greatly. In the middle or near the equator, it can have highs of around 20 Celsius. However, at its poles, it can have lows of about minus 153 Celsius. It takes 687 days for Mars to orbit the Sun once, which is almost double our Earth year. However, Mars has a similar day length to Earth as a rotation on its axis once takes 24.6 hours, making the day just slightly longer than our day. Mars has two moons called Phobos and Deimos. And here is our finished Mars. The next planet we're painting is Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun and is the first of the Jovian planets or gas giants, meaning they have no solid surface you could walk on. It is also the biggest planet in our solar system and has a famous red spot on it that we believe to be a giant storm, possibly twice the size of our home planet Earth. Jupiter has an average temperature of minus 110 Celsius, and it takes Jupiter approximately 12 years to orbit the Sun. And a day, or one rotation on Jupiter's axis, is just less than 10 hours. And Jupiter has 95 official moons. And here is our finished Jupiter. The next planet we're going to paint is Saturn. And Saturn is another gas giant and is the sixth planet from the Sun. It is most known for its large rings. All of the gas giants have rings, but Saturn's is the largest and some other ring systems are hard to spot. Saturn has an average temperature of minus 180 Celsius. And it also takes Saturn over 25 years to orbit our Sun. A day on Saturn is around 10 and a half hours. And Saturn has the most moons in our entire solar system. Saturn now has 274 confirmed moons as of March 2025. And here is our finished Saturn. The next planet we're going to paint is Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun and was the first planet found with a telescope. Saturn is the coldest planet in our entire solar system, with an average temperature of around minus 195 Celsius. Even though the last planet in our solar system has a colder average temperature, Uranus is still classified as the coldest because the coldest ever temperature measured on Uranus was minus 224.2 Celsius. It takes roughly 84 years for Uranus to orbit the Sun one time. And one axis rotation or day on Uranus is approximately 17 hours. Also, just like Venus, Uranus spins backwards. However, Uranus spins on its side as well. This is thought to be due to a previous collision millions of years ago. And Uranus also has 28 official moons. And here is our finished Uranus. The last planet we're painting is Neptune, because Neptune is the eighth and last official planet in our solar system. It is also the windiest planet, 
with winds that can reach up to speeds of 1,500 miles an hour. The temperature on Neptune is an average of minus 214 Celsius. And Neptune also takes roughly 165 Earth years to orbit the Sun one time. One day on Neptune would be approximately 16 Earth hours. And lastly, Neptune has 16 official moons. And here is our finished Neptune. Lastly, we're going to place all of the planets and the Sun into this wooden holder. If you've created them yourself, you can stick them into a piece of foam or something else. So first we'll put in the Sun as all of the planets orbit the Sun. Next we're going to put in Mercury, the first planet from the Sun. Then we're going to put in Venus, the second planet from the Sun. The third planet from the Sun is Earth, which is our home planet. The fourth planet to go in and the last of the terrestrial planets is Mars. Next, the biggest planet is going in, which is Jupiter, and the fifth planet from the Sun. The sixth planet from the Sun, and the one with the big rings, is Saturn. Next is Uranus, which is the seventh planet from the Sun, and the coldest. And the eighth and last planet from the Sun is Neptune. And here is our finished and complete solar system model with the Sun and all of the eight planets. And that was the end of today's video. We hope you enjoyed learning all about space and the solar system and the planets with us today. Hope to see you again next time. Bye bye. Hello, if you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Bye bye.